We're going to deal with factor by grouping. Okay, that's what numbers 19 and 20 deal with on here. And so I'm going to put my focus on 19, and then you guys can do 20 on your own um, if you do on it. So we've got factor by grouping. Okay. The way this works is when you have more than three terms, in this case we had our four terms, you're going to try to group different terms together that will allow you to pull out a greatest common factor that's the same. So there, you could try to group any two pieces together. You could put the 2x squared and the xy together, the 2x squared and the 2x together, the 2x squared and the y together, whatever you want. But the point is you have to be able to move things around and you want to be able to pull something out of that. So like, I'm just going to start by trying this group. Doesn't mean it'll work. I'm going to start by trying that group. If I put that group together, and then I'm going to make this a plus sign here in a minute, but notice when I insert, right now it's a negative 2x. When I put a parenthesis around it, it just became a positive 2x. Everyone see that? Okay, some of you do. Some of you are zoning out right now. Okay, now I'm going to make this a plus and actually keep that a negative 2x. You guys with me? Okay. So right now I've made two groups. I don't know if those groups are going to be beneficial or not. Okay. Well, actually I do. I've kind of thought about it through, thought through it a bit. But you may not know when you're making the groups. But if I look at this, is there something I could take out of 2x squared and negative xy? X. I can take an x out. And that x times 2x and x times y. And then here, can I take anything out of negative 2x and y? No. No, but notice this negative 2x plus y is very close to this. If I pull out, how can I make that negative 2x into a positive 2x? Multiply by negative 1. So I'm going to pull out a negative 1. Now some of you go, well, that's a waste of time. You just put the negative 1 in. Well, I, when I pull out a negative 1, I'm actually pulling it out of here. It makes that a positive 2x, but I'm also taking it out of this, which makes this negative y. Now you'll notice, is there a greatest common factor between these two? Yeah. What is it? It's 2x minus y. This is your greatest common factor. Okay? Everyone see that? Which means I can now say if I divide this thing by the greatest common factor and take the 2x minus y out, what am I left with? left with x and if I do that here I'm left with minus 1 so x minus 1 you have now factored that top piece okay that's called factor by grouping okay the we have no idea well once again I do know but you might not have any idea if that actually was helpful because right now I can't cancel anything this way and I haven't factored this yet I want everyone to try to factor by grouping this top piece right here. Okay, so we all we did was the one side. We're now on this side. able to get this part okay so what's the greatest common factor there x plus y, x plus y. okay so now I've actually put it into the, the equation there I'm gonna go ahead and move that up and finish off this side so if I take the x plus y out what am I left with here x plus one. left with x here and there's a one out there we don't see it but it's there so it's x plus one all over 2x minus y and then what we did just a minute ago this side okay can we cancel anything yeah. yep. cancel those anything else x plus y plus y and we're left with x plus one x minus one times x plus one what pattern is that? Difference of two perfect squares. 
Dis difference of two perfect squares. Not that we need that. We could call it x squared minus 1 if we wanted, but there we go. And then your restrictions, x cannot equal y, or negative y, excuse me, or add y, divide by 2, y over 2. Any questions on that? Once again, don't think I don't think it's easy. However, I think you can do it. Okay? I want you to make sure you try number 20 that way. Okay?